Hallelujah. Are you prepared to take charge of your life over situations and circumstances and to rule and reign in your world? Amen, indeed you are. It's the 13th of August and today you are going to learn how to cut off Satan's influence from the rhapsody of realities by our man of God, Pastor Chris. So let us take a look at our opening verse from the book of Psalm 118 verse 10. And it says, All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. The underlined word will in the verse above doesn't exist in the original Hebrew text. Rather, it's in the affirmative. The New International Version translation, like several other translations, puts it correctly. It says, All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them off. He didn't say, I will cut them off. David was making a proclamation in the spirit ever before he would destroy his enemies with the sword. He had to first destroy them with words. This is so important because it shows us how we should deal with the adversary. You are to cut off the influence of Satan over the nations, leaders and governments of the world. That is what you do in praying for nations and leaders. David was emphatic with the phrase cut off because sometimes you've got to say it several times. When we hear of wars, pandemics, insecurity, economic downturns, etc. and we notice that Satan is taking advantage of them to keep people in fear and mislead nations, then we step in. Like David, we cut off Satan's influence. Hallelujah! When you see the adversary on rampage, holding nations hostage in whatever form, don't keep quiet. Cut off his influence with your prayer and faith-filled words. The Bible says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. And you can see that in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4. And we are king priests unto God. That's in Revelation chapter 1 verse 6. Even now, with the authority given to us in the name of Jesus, take your place and cut off principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Expel them from your home, the schools, your government and from public places. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must be on fire now, knowing what you can do with the authority given you. So, as kings and priests, let us boldly affirm this prayer together. Precious Father, I thank you for the authority in the name of Jesus, with which we prevail over Satan and his cohorts. By that authority, I cut off principalities and powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places, from every sector, establishment, and aspect of government in my nation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory! Brothers and sisters, do not miss out on the treasures hidden in the given scriptures below when you take time out to study them. From the book of Psalm 118 verse 10 to 12 in the New International Version translation and Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Wow, what a brilliant God we serve. Hallelujah. You must be thinking how, about how you can do more to reach out to people who have never heard such a thing like this. And the answer is simple. Click on the share button and direct this video to all your social media platforms and everyone you know. Because that simple gesture could make tremendous impact in someone's life. 
show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel to receive content and knowledge that is of eternal value. Hallelujah. This is the Rhapsody of Realities brought to you by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.